What's going on everybody? We are, uh, as you can see, pretty much almost done with the build. I've gotten... I've done a few changes to it too as well, just so this is rather unique. We've gotten the uh, fifth wheel hitch done, that's all taken care of. And the electronics are all done. The last video I showed you, you guys uh, put one of the transmissions together. Well, the training had a little bit of noise to it. And it turns out that I didn't have the uh, pinion gear pushed back far enough. And the grub screw was actually hitting the uh, primary gear on it. So, I just had to rip the transmission out and do all that good stuff to get it back to where it was not making noise. I still have to hook the shift lever back up, but as you can see, there's my idea of the uh, super singles in the rear for more traction. Mounted to the uh, SCX rims versus the stock front tire. But, we're gonna, real quick, I'm gonna set you guys down to do a little comparison here. Bear with me. Alright, so what you're looking at in front of you right now is the night hauler. Here behind it is its sister, the king hauler. Now, tire to tire, this is a little bit shorter of it. The, the king hauler is a little bit shorter of a truck, and just to give you guys a rough idea, I'm going to slap this on here real quick. Just so you guys get a rough idea. It's a taller truck too than the uh, King Hauler. I'm really, really digging the yellow on this. Because I haven't done yellow in a long time. As a matter of fact, none of my bodies are yellow except for the Wraith. And this is the exact same color that I painted the Wraith. So I figured there's a pretty good offset between chrome, black, and yellow. I've got to go ahead and take all take the top uh, of the condo sleeper off so I can put the windows in and all that good stuff. I've still got to do the interior on it. Basically, I'm just buttoning everything up now, doing all the fancy chrome stuff, putting all the exterior pieces on. And uh, I forget what it was. I think it was maybe a few videos back. Somebody had asked me why haven't I been talking about Venom since you guys know I'm sponsored by them. And I believe I had answered the, the, the question that I don't want to be cramming or plugging Venom products right and left and cramming them down you guys' throat. I want you guys to make your decisions on what you think is the best for you, for what works for your budget. And it just so happens that for my budget, Venom is the way to go for me as far as electronics go. As, as this is sitting right now, you guys can see I'm running the Venom 4600. <clears throat> I'm also running the 240 amp VSC ESC for it. I'm using the stock silver can motor from Tamiya only because it came with a kit and I didn't feel like having to use one of my rock crawler motors. Plus, it wouldn't give me the speed that I needed for this truck being a three-speed. The servos are actually standard axial AS2s, which are standard on pretty much all axial vehicles with a Wraith, SCX, AX10, which they don't make any more. Uh, the Ridgeline, Ridgecrest, whatever the hell it is, is going to be coming out. That They all run the standard... AE2 or whatever the hell it is underneath. Now, basically what I'm going to do now is just do a lot of the body work and then show you guys pretty much the finished result. And then we're going to compare the two trucks. So, we're just going to chop it here and go into the, the next where you should see it pretty much finished. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another... Uh... Another episode of the Man Cave Media Films. Uh, back here we have the finally finished uh, Tamiya Night Hauler. 
And sitting right next to it would be the Tamiya King Hauler. Yes, as you, as you can see, both trucks, instead of having uh, the stock dual uh, rims, I have opted out for heavy duty. Uh, I believe both of those are uh, RC four wheel drive 1.9s. These ones being uh, the 1.9 Mud Thrashers and those being the 1.9 Tomahawks. I've opted out for the knobby tires in the rear because these ones will be doing some uh, off-road, they will be off-highway use tractors, so figured instead of having those puny little dual tires that like to spin out on everything, we'd uh, throw some meaty tires on there for uh, traction. But that's not what this is about. This right here is what we're doing today. This is one of two trailers that I finally got in. This one is the regular uh, flatbed. My other one that I have coming is a pole trailer. Which, it comes with PVC pipe, but boo, who wants PVC pipe? Alright, so we've got... I did a little sneak peek of the box, but nothing major. We've got our aluminum uh, chassis rails. A nice little whatever that is. And then I looked at this, I was like, really? What the hell is this? And then I realized, oh yeah, it's the decking for the trailer. So back over here, right, there's nothing else there. We have a very simple box and a huge uh, of metal parts. We got some stickers so we can do whatever we want with them. I love how they always have Nevada or California tags. That that just kills me. Oh wow, look at this. We got a bent little piece of steel here. But this right here is the bed of your trailer that the wood goes onto. So we take the big box, do what we always do, toss it, set you guys down. And we look and see what's in all the other little boxes like this. This is obviously going to be all your metal parts. Really how difficult. Oh wow, that's your tires in here too. So we got A, B, C, D. We've got our tires back here. Let's stack those out. Got, I guess this would be our mud flat bracket. We got some more billet pieces. That's what's in that one. Of course, we've got our steel deck. And now. We find out what's behind door number two here. Rims. Various uh, plastic components, cross members, what have you. And then some shiny, not so shiny, gray plastic pieces for whatever purpose. And that's it. There's pretty much not that much to this. So, with that being said, I'm probably not going to do a... Uh, Probably not going to do a build series on this trailer since there's not that much to it at all. Other than just literally doing a few steps and assembling it. As I know I just did the uh... Just did a series on the night hauler. Which, you never know, I might go ahead and buy the king hauler and See if this scares you guys. That bent corner of the trailer was killing me. I had to straighten it out. Let's see. Let's get the uh, let's get the wood untied. I'm really curious to see what this this will look like. They gave me two different types of wood. I've got red and I've got blue. Whatever that means. One end's red. The other piece, blue. Red, blue. Red, blue. What you gonna do when I come for you? Kick you in the ass, make you gonna scream. Oh my god, we're building a trailer. 
All right, let's see. These are very small pieces too, so I guess they give you the option for an old school look or a new school. But since this is such a small build, I might as well just open up all the uh, plastic parts trees and get them out in the air. That one's already open. No, 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 no. This trailer shouldn't take more than a couple of hours to put together. At the extreme most. That's if I run into problems. And since this is a trailer tire, and none of them are, uh, none of these tires are going to be, uh, under pressure of spinning. I figure the one thing I will do for you guys real quick, pop these tires in these rims. No need to glue them because, like I said, they're not going to go nowhere. If they fall off, then that's just going to be funny. And then we can blame the idiot mechanic for not doing it right. It's a beautiful day today, by the way. It's got to be in the... Uh, Upper 70s, high upper 70s to low 80s already, and it's only about maybe one o'clock. Maybe. Don't know. I've been out running around all morning, so day kind of flew by for me. Luckily, I was able to spot this on the front porch and snatch it up before I got real busy. So now I deviated my plans and instead I'm going to be building my trailer. One of them at least. The other one uh, I believe just cleared customs from uh, China. And I catch a lot of crap from people for ordering from China. Which my only answer to the, uh, those people is okay. Okay yeah I may not have bought American but uh, if I bought American, I'd have to pay all these inflated charges just because you guys had to pay. And the end result, it boils down to, well, why should I have to buy domestic if it's something that you guys are buying that's imported to you guys and then you guys just jet the price up because you had to import it? Why don't I just skip the middleman and go straight to the wholesale? I'm going to get it for the same price you got it without the inflation. So, that's my take on the whole, uh, who we'll buy US all the time, yeah. And see, there you go. There's one set of duels. Working on another set of duels. There's two. Outers. If you've got any or an outie. Three. And there's four. So now that we got all that done, there's one final thing I want to show you guys. After I clean it off a little bit. Straighten up the camera. Flip the viewfinder. Check out the new shirt. Had to get it. I got a couple of them actually. This is uh Triple X Motorsports. I don't know if you guys uh, watch it, but they do some pretty uh some pretty insane shit with uh some pretty insane vehicles down in uh, Texas. They also do uh, like drag racing and all that stuff. It's a pretty awesome channel, man. It's right up there with uh, my favorites. 
as far as watching uh, Tim Cameron get nasty on uh, in Showtime, but it's an awesome channel. I've been watching them for a long time. Been wanting a uh, triple X shirt for the longest time, and uh, finally bought a couple of them. That bought some stickers, cause I am a sticker whore. So you guys go. There's the finished product on the old night hauler right there, and like I said, we're just gonna go straight into the build on the uh, flatbed. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Man cave out.